Hi, my name's Andy York from Warner's Printers. We're often asked what is the, the actual difference between web and sheet fed printing and will I actually notice when I get my publication whether it has been printed web or sheet fed. So here at Warner's we have both processes in house, both sheet fed and heat set web. Both processes use offset litho as the, as the printing process, however heat set web uses an oven to dry the paper and it's this process that causes the main differences between the two. So here we have two magazines. Both have a cover that's been printed sheet fed and both have the text that's been printed web. So how do we know this? Well there are three main areas that we can look at. Firstly, the heating process via the web causes the paper to ripple slightly. So if you hold it edge on, you can see there's a slight ripple in that paper. That wouldn't be the case if that text was being printed sheet fed. So secondly, there's a phenomenon called web growth. This can be demonstrated looking at a magazine. It looks as if the text has actually been trimmed incorrectly, that the cover is falling slightly short. In reality, what's happened is that the text paper has been heated through the web process. It's then been cut flush on a binding line. It's taken back in moisture and it started to grow. So approximately a millimetre on the edge of that page, the text has now outgrown the cover. So the third area of difference that we're going to look at is lift from the ink on the pages. Something that's been printed web, as this is here, you can see how the ink shines off the page. That's because it's not been allowed to sink in. It's dried as it goes through the process immediately on the paper. If we take something that's been printed sheet fed, uh, as this magazine has here, although the quality is, is, is perfectly good, you can see how the difference between the two in terms of the lift and the glossiness of those pictures. The sheet fed one has a sort of a, a, a down sheen on it, whereas the web printed has a very glossy finish. Thanks for taking a look at the video. We hope it's been useful and hopefully we'll be able to show the differences immediately between the two processes. As I've mentioned here at Warner's, we have an unbiased view. We have both processes in-house. There's lots of information on our website about the differences and more information about printing. Please take a look. The details are on the screen now or give us a call and we'd be very happy to help.